Hey, what's up? It's me, Jessica Jane. I was just wondering if you've ever sat and thought to yourself, uh, Jessica, how do I command respect from women? Well, if so, I'm glad you asked because that's what I'm going to go over today. The four psychological tricks that'll get women totally standing at attention for you. I'm going to make sure you never miss out on another opportunity to find out exactly what gets our women, oh God, what it is that gets us women paying attention to you or another one of my videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button with that notification bell. Okay, so the reason I called this video psychological tricks is because it's not not necessarily a thing where you're learning how to be alpha or even how to let her know that you're the man. There's really a much deeper component to it in regards to who we all are as human beings and make sure you can ingrain these four things into your muscle memory to have it on autopilot. Anytime you're out and about with women, make sure you stay to the very end because I'll tell you just how to do it. So the first one, you probably heard me talk about this before, is called the three second stare. I talked about this infant and child development class I took with my sister at Rutgers where the professor talks about anybody you hold eye contact with, anybody with whom you hold eye contact for at least three seconds, you will be intimate with. Fuck ahead. And of course, my sister and I stare at each other. My sister and I are intimate. You know, we share intimate details of our lives with one another. And when you can do that with a woman, it signals to her that you are capable of going there. And that is a respectable trait for any woman or human being. Goodness. Too many men, when they come on to my coaching calls, they cannot maintain eye contact for the fucking life of them. And that signals to us that you are way too nervous, that you can't handle the feelings that come with holding your own. Because getting intimate, getting vulnerable, that's stuff that can make us feel really uncomfortable. But if you're the guy that can go there and you can go there with us, we'll automatically have the utmost respect for you. The second one is asking us experiential questions. Now, if you ask me what it was like for me growing up on the Jersey Shore versus asking what states I've lived in. What you're doing is, again, you're showing me that ability you have to go past the service level. You wanting to know about our human experience shows us that you are, in turn, a human, in turn, a human to be respected. Because most people won't go there. Most people want to talk about the surface level. Oh, how's the weather in New Jersey? Or even, did you like growing up there? Most people just won't do it. People like to stay in small, talky town it's safe. But if you're the guy that could go deep, you're the guy that we're gonna let go fucking deep. And speaking of going deep, now that we're there, number three is letting her get a deeper look inside you. No, I'm not talking about your prostate and shit, but if that's what you're into, woohoo! If you're able to talk about your experiences versus who oh, you know at work, I you know, like crunch numbers and it's a good work environment. No, we want to hear what it's like in your body, through your eyes in your shoes. Because that's the number one thing we can all connect on. I haven't come with you. You've heard me say this so many times. You haven't come with my mom. My mom hasn't come with your mom. Is we're all human. We all got here the same way. We're all leaving the same way. So if you could show her your human side, she will automatically respect you as a human being versus all these other masses of people and sheep that come in and out of her life like it's nothing. Because you will be something if you show her your human significance. And the way to do that is to be experienced in the same way that you were going to try to get to know about her experiences. Now, the fourth one is something I rarely talk about, but I'm so much more understanding the necessity of it in your interactions with women, and that's connecting to the here and now at all times. Again, it's so easy to talk about, oh yeah, you know, at work, and uh, oh yeah, Game of Thrones and shit. But the closer you adhere to the me, you, us, right here, right now, the closer she will feel to you in that moment. And the more she'll be able to respect you as a man who can lead her. Because a leader is super focused on right here, right now, and what he has to do in this moment. Those are the people we follow. The people who got us right here and who could take us out there. That's what we women consider a leader. And we always talk about how women want the man to lead. So if you can sit here and pay attention to the things she giggles at or notice the tone in her voice when she talks about certain things, that to us says that you are capable capable of being here for us if a T-Rex were to come and try to bite our fucking heads off. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, these are all things I teach you how to do and how to get these on autopilot in my new coaching alternative, Spotlight Speed Dating 2.0. This is where you get personalized feedback and attention with me or one of my coaches on the sidelines watching you in the moment in action, where we tell you what it looks like while you are interacting with women in the moment, like a real coach does. Because Tom Brady doesn't go out to these games or 
even go out to practice and then call his coach later and be like, well, I think this is what happened when I threw the ball and missed. No, coaches watch you in the moment and guide you in the fucking moment. And with Spotlight Speed Dating 2.0, you have me and my girls at your full service to get you where you want to be from where you are now and who you want to be with. So the doors are open again in case you haven't heard. Make sure you check it out now. All the details are out laid on this page right here. Or you can go to jessicajdating.com slash SSD2. I'm also going to put it on the end screen. I don't know when it'll show up. But I, this is exactly what I look for for all my clients who show up. And this is what all my coaches are highly trained to look for in regards to these nuances that you're deviating from, which is me, you, us, now. These four things alone are what we hyper-focus on and what really takes my clients to the next level in regards to really getting women, treating them differently, and chasing after them inevitably. So again, check it out right now, jessicajdating.com slash SSD2. Thanks for watching as always, and I hope to meet you in there. Oh, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, hey, hey.